Hey guys, Matt Kleskowski here, and uh, one of the one of the questions that I see a lot out there um, when it, when it comes to portraits is they'll see a portrait of of someone, a, you know, a closer up portrait, and they've got these these really super sharp eyes. They're, they're almost otherworldly in some ways, um, but the the eyes just sparkle. Um, and, and that comes from a couple of things. So, so on the, on the photography side of it, it is, it is by all means getting a sharp photo. Okay. So you, you you need a sharp photo to begin with, because what I'm about to show you here is not really going to work on a photo with blurry eyes. So it needs a sharp photo. But what I can tell you about that is it is a post-processing thing. It starts with a sharp photo, but that sparkling, glistening, just otherworldly look, that comes from post-processing. So uh, I want to show you how to do it here because uh, a lot of times, um, and especially since I've been in on one, I say a lot of people ask the question, well, how do I just work on eyes? You know, do I go into perfect portrait, which you can, but perfect portrait's going to assume you really want to work on the entire face, the, the entire portrait. So it's going to find the eyes and the mouth and the teeth and all that. Um, where a lot of people don't know that if you go into effects, um, there's a brush that is actually meant for working on the eyes. And, uh, and I, I kind of knew about the brush. And so just to tell you a little bit about what I did, you know, I'd go through, you know, portrait enhancer, um, I'd go through all the different sharpening uh, filters that are in here and take a look at those. And when it came down to it for what I wanted to do with the eyes, this really was the best brush. Uh, so I went under, if you go under adjustment brush, you'll see there's one here called the magic eye fixer. Uh, I'm just going to hit Command Plus to zoom in a bit. Uh, I always like the feather up pretty high, so I'm going to get that you know right around 80, 90 percent. Hit the left bracket key to make my brush smaller. And what you're going to see is I'm just going to paint here, and so it's going to do two things. It's going to brighten the eyes, all right. Which again is you know on the the capture side, you know, hopefully we're we're capturing people in in light where their eyes look bright, where they're not you know in deep harsh light where their their you know eyes are basically dark under the sockets because they're in such harsh overhead light. So hopefully we're helping ourselves out that way. But we can go in here and we can we can add an effect to the eyes. Now, in this case, I think it works. All right, if you scroll down here on the right side. You're gonna see we've got control over a few things here. Uh, I'd probably tone the brightness down just a little bit, but in this case, I wanted the eyes to be brighter. That's before, that's after. And it's really common. The eyes the eyes tend to look darker in a lot of our photos. It's an extremely common thing. Um, that's probably why I like having the brush in effects because sometimes I don't really wanna work on the whole portrait. I just wanna go in and work on the eyes a little bit. So uh, that's a before and after. You can see the, uh, the eyes get brightened, but here's the thing. You wanna go for that extra look it's the detail slider. That's what gives you that sharpened, extra sharpened type of a look. So again, that's before, that's after. And we might pull back on the brightness a little bit. And you can always go up to the top of the stack here and just pull back on the layer opacity just a little bit just to blend it in. That's probably too much. We're going to go back up here. All right. So that's one example for you. If, if, if the entire eye needs a little bit of work, you want to brighten the eyes and you want to bring a little bit more attention to just the sharpness of the eye. All right. I'll even back out a little bit here and you can see the entire portrait before, after. Small change, big difference. So I'm going to cancel out of that one. And I'm going to go to a different photo here. And I want to show you when it doesn't need all of what we just did. Okay, so zoom in on the eyes here. Go to the adjustment brush, magic eye fixer. All right, again, I'll just crank my uh, crank my feather up here and hit the left bracket key to make my brush smaller. I'm gonna paint over the eyes, and what's happening here is it's obviously it's brightening, and it's adding that little detailed effect to it. Now what I would do is go down here normally and just crank up on the detail effect. But the thing is, is I don't think the eyes really needed brightening. Okay, so let's go back up to that layer. I'm just gonna go to mask. I'm just gonna choose reset, all right? So this time I'm just gonna work right in the iris. I think that's the official term. We'll go with that. I'm just gonna work right in there, all right? Now, here's the trick is normally I'd pull back on the brightening because I didn't think the eyes needed it, but I'm actually going to experiment a little bit here and push up because as I add more detail to this, you'll see if I bring the detail down, it, it retains the color, but as I bring the detail up, 
see how we we tend to lose a little bit of color because it's adding contrast in there. So I bring it down. You can see you know, brown, bring it up. To me, they, they tend to get darker brown. So you can experiment with two things here. You can experiment with brightness to go in there and try to brighten them up a little bit. Or you can even go down to warmth and you can kind of add a little bit to the warmth of it because as you move over to that warm side, it's going to enhance uh, the the browns and the those colors in the eyes. Where if you went over to the other side and you had blue eyes, you would enhance the, the blue in the eyes. So you can kind of tweak the color a little bit that way. I'm not going to do too much. I'll pull back a little bit just there. But let's back out just so we can see the whole portrait. Again, that's before, that's after. And I might even pull back a little bit on the layer opacity. But there you go. If you see that effect on eyes, if you see the, the eyes where they just look like they sparkle, I promise you, it's, it's, it's a combination of good camera technique to capture a sharp photo, but that sparkle look, that comes from post-processing. This is a really easy way for you to do it.